Okay, so we were looking a little bit at exceptions. Exceptions are what happens when you have an error and you want to do something with it. In the case of Squeak, automatically, if you do nothing else, an error will bring up the debugger window. On the other hand, we can actually do this. Let's create a new method a number first by another second and then let's see what happens show actually we'll just go my test colon equals test new my test divide a number by another two and now we do it do we have a transcript window shown no for some reason i post it so let's open the transcript window all right resize it down a little bit and when we do it we will get one half as we expected now suppose we know for sure that sometimes we won't get two numbers passed in. We could do error checks like um, first if not a number, second if a number, blah blah. Or we could use our exception handling. Let's try this. Put this into a block and now say on error do and this is our error handling. We are being passed in an exception, that is to say an error message. So it's transcript show exception carries return. And just to make it a little fancy, we're going to return self if there was an error. Otherwise, we're going to actually redo this and show it. Transcript show. Out of a second. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Again, we do it. Again, we get an answer. Let's start playing around. What happens if we pass in nil, which certainly isn't a number, and try to divide? We get message not understood, undefined object, that is to say nil, received a message, divide. Okay, let's try another one. Zero. Divide by, oh, say, text and do it. Now this time we get error. Reading a number failed. It tried to convert the text into a number. Okay, let's try something like um, oh, bag new. We haven't really defined what a bag is. It's a certain kind of container. We'll go over that later probably. Now we do it again. A bag. Okay, it tried to divide the contents of a bag. So it actually knows, it hopes, how to divide the contents of bag by two. Let's try something a little more strange. How about morph? 
Okay. Message not understood. Morph. Zero. Well, once again, it tried to do something. It divided zero by a morph. And it tried to apparently coerce the morph to be zero. So let's try morphing on both sides and see what happens. A morph doesn't know how to divide. So you can see, you can actually test for these error messages and do something depend on what, depending on which error message it is. So you could perhaps recover and say, no, 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 give me a, give me a number and get a number or um, gracefully exit or make the computer blow up or whatever. So you see we have many choices now. Instead of just flashing the debugger window on the screen, we can catch the error before it gets there. So it tests, and then if there's an error, it does the code in here, and then returns self just to exit gracefully. Otherwise, it shows the results of the division. So now you know how to catch errors and, and do something with an error if you happen to have one.